In Business Central, we have uh, the ability to store vendor bank details. So I'm here in the vendor card that we've been using in our tutorial series. I'm gonna go to vendor bank accounts. And from here, I can add a new bank account. You require to give it a code or a name. It might be their main account. It might be in their checking account. It might be their uh, cash account. It might be their, uh, I don't know, um, you know, you might just call it the customer. So let's call this right 365, okay? And their name is right size 365 PTY LTD, address 23165, Queensland. you cool and the contact i'm gonna leave uh i'm gonna put the bsb and account number here so zero six four zero 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 that's just an example combank and i'm gonna put a bank account number there as an example so if this is actually a domestic australian bank these are the details that you'd be looking at if you're doing transfers overseas you'll be wanting to be using um uh, subsequent SWIFT codes, IBAN codes, etc., that could actually be used. Communication for remittance advice. And we're going to go off this. I'm going to scroll down. Um, and so for Australia, we've got an extension here that uses the EFT module. Okay. And it then turns around and overrides. When you go to now, do a payment for this vendor, it will all auto allocate the bank details, which is good to go. And um, yeah, there's not that much else really to it. If you've got workflows turned on, there's some changes that we make to secure that. If you're gonna use workflow approvals, etc. cetera. Um, I think that's really it for the bank details. Um, yeah, there's, there's, like I said, there's not really that much to it. It's quite easy to, Turn around and access. You can actually have multiple accounts per customer. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just a point of just making sure that if you care about uh, compliance, you want to be really careful who has access to that table and that you've got a workflow. Cheers.